Since the early 2000s, we've been conducting the latest series of innovation surveys in three-year cycles. And we are now building up a set of longitudinal data sets that cover the period. And importantly, these are available for wider use, either through the HSRC's data curation sites or on the NACI um, new STI portal that is being established. Or you can contact us and our data team can work with you on the data. And so we typically we spend a lot of time and effort making sure that we do good data collection. And that is absolutely key that we have a large sample and a very representative sample. But what we're increasingly focusing on is our commitment to strengthen the way we visualize the data, the way we analyze the data, the way we draw out insights and communicate it to users, policy, different kinds of policy actors in the national system of innovation, so that the data can be useful to inform action and policy and provide evidence for policy. We start with the random sample that was generated by, uh, by Stats SA, and it's essential to have a random sample in that we, we're not um, talking to pre-selected firms, and I think it's a very important uh, point to, to bear in mind. Um, we have a fully trained uh, team of, of uh, researchers who will be conducting the, the online surveys and the telephonic surveys. This team has also uh, been operating on the uh, World Bank um, Enterprise Survey last year, and so they have extensive experience in terms of um, these kinds of online and telephonic surveys. Uh, our online survey will be starting next week, uh, followed by the telephonic survey, which will uh, start in mid-March. The data will be collected on very, very secure service servers, so there's no danger of uh, any leaks of information. And also, it's important to stress that the confidentiality of the respondent and also the firms will be absolutely sacrosanct and guaranteed.